Right then. So Yoshi's always angry like the Hulk. Oh yeah? I don't know, I've met Yoshi once or twice. He seems pretty on the level. Right, we just uh we just got into some portally dark worldy thingy and it felt like last dungeon, so we're gonna stock up on potions uh real quick just to make sure. What's up Yoshi and what's up bloody by the way? You were more concerned about your eyes? Oh yeah. Huh. Well, she said she had something to take care of. Uh oh. I'm holding down the fort while she's gone. That's why Anna's in the game. Oh, good. oh well, don't worry. She taught me how to do it. That's why Anna's in the game. That sounds horribly unsafe. The entire reason why Anna's in the game is just so she can take over Dominique's position. <laughs> well, join me. You'll see. Oh, what would you like to buy? What would you like to buy? Hey, eh? What? Hey, what, mate? I punch you in the gabba. I swear at me mum, who's dead. I can buy Alkahests. Alkahest is a lesser known Super Nintendo RPG action game, much like Zelda, but actually with levels and RPG elements. It was very orange, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Boom! Jump. Alright, let's so does this show me on my map like where the portal is? Or do I just gotta figure it out again? Oh I wanna say it was like right here. I, f I feel like there's like a, a close by teleporter. It's gotta be. What is this? What is this symbol right here? What does that mean? No, let's find out. Let's find out. I've been seeing that symbol on the map and have not investigated. Wait, did I just get debated by background? No. Yeah. Oh. Turn this up a little bit. Gotta be able to hear those bangers. Yo, Sloa, thank you for 32 months, dude. Thank you very much for the 32 months in a row. Now, why... Why is this room have that symbol, but no other room does? It doesn't show on the map what it's supposed to mean. Well, that's weird. I guess we should go, like... I think it's right here. We can just walk it. What's up, Red Mink? It shows I met a guy there. Okay, that tells me nothing. <laughs> I, I'm not really looking for an answer anyway, dude. You know how I am about uh, being told about things, elements of the games I'm not sure of, but yeah, that's okay, it doesn't matter. Ah, no worries, no worries. It's not a big deal. Just more protected for future thingies than anything. I was definitely not down here. Well, it's definitely not, not up there. Maybe it is down there. Should be in like the garden area. This is a cave. Definitely wrong area. So maybe it's up here somewhere. Maybe this is it right there. Am I near the end of the game? How would I know? How could I possibly know? Yeah! <laughs> 
Yeah, this looks like it. Even if I am, yeah, I don't want to know, man. I don't want to know. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't read guides when I play games. I don't get told where to go or how to do it. You know, I was, I was, I was, no, I was saying something earlier today or yesterday. Someone was talking about how they were, they were, they were using a guide for the game that they were playing. And I was like, whatever, that's fine, use a guide, I don't care. But then he said, I finished my review for the game. And I was just thinking the whole time, like, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, if you, if you read a guide to play your game, you, you shouldn't be doing reviews because you're giving a completely inaccurate representation of what the game is like if you just read a guide to get through the whole thing, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe I'm like not not being fair. But I think if you if you read a guide to get through a game, you're being told what all the secrets are, all the best equipment, how to do everything, how to beat bosses, what their weaknesses are. So you're getting zero actual like raw gameplay out of it, and just doing what the guide tells you to do. And that gives a completely inaccurate representation of what the g game is like. And that you you can't write a review on something that's like so inaccurate, right? You didn't experience anything raw. I, I don't know. Am I wrong? Am I, am I wrong? I feel like... I, I don't care if you use a guide. That's not what's in question. I, I care if you use a guide and then you write a review on the game. Because, like, if the game sucks or has, like, real... Like, imagine... Imagine playing Ephemeral Fantasia with a guide, okay? You, you know exactly where to go, everything is told to you, you know, you never get lost, you never have the bullshit garbage design getting in the way of you figuring out how to advance in the game. And then you write a guide on it saying, wow, the game sure is good, you know, because, the you know, you can do this and that, and it, it doesn't have bullshit design in any way, shape, or form, you know, but it, of course it does. Ephemeral Fantasia is one of the worst games ever made because of how obtuse the the, the storyline progress is. That's that's only one of the things. But I think if you if you use a guide for any more any more capacity other than just like figuring out some like random puzzle or something you can figure out, then you've lost your right to like write a reasonable guide on it. That's just me. I don't know. Don't worry, the guides online are also bullshit. Yeah, probably. I mean, except for yours, of course, right? <laughs> You use a guide if it's for 100% on a second run, but not on the first run. Yeah, again, I'm not judging. I'm not judging if you if you use a guide. That's fine. Use a guide, but just don't don't write a review after using a guide. I feel like that's super bullshit. Like you're not getting a, a good representation of the game to someone else because most people probably don't use guides. Yo, jump! I'm trying to jump. You use guides for RPGs? Yeah, I hate using guides. I hate using guides. I hate being told where to go or how to do things. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Zero backseating a lot in this stream because uh, I play games blind. I like to figure it out for myself instead of just... If from, from my perspective, if I'm using a guide, I'm not playing the game. Somebody else is and I'm just following along what their their predetermined path is. That's not that's not fun to me. That's like the opposite of fun. I, 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 I see you... From my perspective, I see very little reason to play a game if, if you're if you're using a guide, but I know a lot of people enjoy it, and I'm not hating on that. I, heck, I know Bloody Dye uses guides because she just wants to play the story, and that's totally fine. But like, for me, it's it, it's completely irrelevant uh, to play a game if a guide's on the table. Oh, level up. But like, Ephemeral Fantasia is legit probably the worst game I've ever made. And if you use a guide, it's gonna be significantly less worse. Because you're gonna know exactly where to go and what to do and how to do things. You're obsessive, obsessive perfectionist and need to get all the things. I, I understand that. I used to like need to get all the things too, but I would explore and find it, you know, still. But, like, I realized that I could beat games with whatever <laughs> whatever I found. 
And so I didn't need to be perfect in order to play the game and get through it. Uh -oh. So it, it saved me. And I also realized that time is like kind of a really valuable commodity. Uh, and I don't have a whole lot of it. So <laughs> that was another reasoning to just not like needing to get every single item. I explore, enjoy it up to the point where I'm done enjoying it. And then, and then I move on. Why are you not aggro? Oh, what, what the? Oh, I think it's like a race. I think it's like a, if you race him or something like that. This is kind of cool. Invert. Invert. I bet there's a cycle you can catch on that to be optimal. Way too slow. Okay, well, we'll race again, buddy. Use guys less days after. Yeah, again, I'm not judging if someone uses a guide. Use a guide. Don't. I don't. I don't care. It has nothing to do with whether or not you use a guide. It's whether or not you use a guide and then try to write a review on a game you got you got told how to play. You know, I, I don't know. Because it, it, it part of a guide is like uh, is like how obtuse is the game? How how well can you get through it without you know? Okay. Wow. I'm going to die. You know what I should do is. Put that. Blessing upon you. Yeah, if you write in a guide and, and then the judging on its difficulty or something as well. Yeah, that's another huge issue. Yeah, play the game how you enjoy it. That's not what's in question here. Just like the validity of your argument. If you're using a guide, you don't really have a say in. Can you keep up? I don't know. Can I? I can do this. I think this spell uh, freezes time when you use it, and I can run through these things with the armor, the Aegis armor on. I got caught on a few lips that I didn't really notice. I should also not use the, well, I think I have to there. Okay. We can do this. Can you keep up? Yeah. Huh. There. Invert. Invert. Yeah. The spell's kind of cheating for it, to be honest. Because uh, it freezes time when you go to use it. Easy peasy. How could anyone be faster than me? What? <laughs> that was actually... He just dies. Accelerator, move more quickly. He just... <laughs> He just dies. He's like, ah, screw it. Oh, shit, dude. This is what I've been missing my whole life. Oh, my God. Yo, hell yeah.
What's up, RPG chick? Zernel, what's up? I still think I'll probably use Guardian for bosses unless there's like a boss that I need that accelerator for. I did find the Valkyrie dress, yeah. Which, um, it's a shame it's not super good because it's the only item in the entire game that gives her a different outfit. But it's not super great. Unfortunately. Although it does have that Lux stat, which I f remember that I wanted to have on for now. Forgot about that. I imagine it's probably the best in slot for like grinding drops and stuff because it's got seven luck on it, which is quite a bit. So what is this? Mario 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 3 World 4. It's it's big land. That's the entire place. <laughs> it's just Mario 3 big land. You even get the same drops, you just get more of them. Swing your shit sword, you dumbass! Invert. Invert. She was just standing there getting chain attack and I'm spamming my, my weapon swing and she's like, nah fam, I don't want to swing. I don't want to hurt the poor monster. But yeah, nothing wrong with playing on easy. Nothing wrong with using guides. Just don't write reviews if you're using guides. That that bugged me when I saw that. I was like, that that's not right. That's not right. That's giving everybody an incorrect uh, representation of what the game is like. At the very least, if you write a review after you use a guide, you should say, Notation, I use the uh, I use the walkthrough and a guide on how to play this game before playing it. So take take this, this review with a grain of salt. That, that would be the way I would forgive it. <clears throat> My beginning word in the title is not capitalized. Who says it needs to be capitalized? Still playing well? Cool. Hope you're having fun. That's a that's a big dragon. That's a big boy. Delicious. Yeah, that's right, get wrecked! Oh, dragon eggs. You have a question, my apologies if, if adventure is too close to being spoiler. Have you been using all the systems in the menu? All the systems? <clears throat> huh? I mean, yes? Oh, the shortcuts. Yeah, I've been kind of using them. They're annoying because you have to set them up every time. Like every time you get a new piece of gear, you got to set them all up again. 
so I don't really use them. I just manually equip. I have I have a few set up for like uh, special uh, special abilities, like the hand, and that's about it. But I don't I don't particularly care for them because of that random factor or the the the, the setup factor. It takes less time to to just equip something new than it is to just like like right now I have um I'll set up this shortcut for my current equipment loadout and then. Just this, the other ones, just, I'll leave them alone. You know, I don't think this place is big. I think I'm small. I think that's what it is. I think I've shrunk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it's 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 a cool system. I think it's better when you're like best in slot. And you're if you're best in slot, you got everything in the game that you need. Then it's like useful because you can just have them set and they're good to go. But uh, there needs to be an improvement with them to where you can like paste over certain setups. But it just feels like every time I get an upgrade, I'm gonna have to reset them up. And I'm just like, nah. Typically speaking, if I need to use a puzzle piece of spell like a puzzle spell it's like um i'm not getting hit so i don't need armor so i don't really care ow, ow! Yeah! big treasure a thousand gold wow yeah! that's a whole potion an entire potion Definitely feel like I miss some stuff. How rich am I? I haven't sold anything and I have like 5,000 gold or something, 7,000, 8,000 gold, and I have so much to sell. That's weird. Oh. But I haven't I haven't really sold been selling things because I'm, I have this fear of uh Crafting requires previous items, and it has in the past, especially with the upgrades for your spells and stuff. So, you know, bad crafting system. So it, it encourages you to never never sell anything. I mean, the crystal system, the, crystal, the, the crafting system isn't bad per se. It's just, it could be so much better. So, so much better. Requiring previous equipments to craft without it being like a super item that requires requires like a, a like a pre-super item kind of thing to craft is it's just bad it's just bad design 100% of the time it's bad don't do it what's up chrono crash what's going on dude oh piece of candy boy every freaking treasure is golden here dude like i don't even want to pick up the treasures they're all, gr they're all garbage I was kind of hoping that I could run into things and do damage to them. It's not even for collection's sake, it's just for, for playing the damn game normally. Because it just discourages you from wanting to craft ever, because you know you're going to have to probably grind or something. Like, why bother even worrying about the crafting? You just have to hope that you get lucky and get the item that you want to craft the thing that you want to do. Otherwise, you just don't craft. And that's that's lame. It's super lame. Oh, did you want to buy a potion? You want to sell your old armor that you had a million years ago? Oh, no, now you can't craft the other thing because you sold the armor and you don't have the materials to make the armor again. So I guess you just don't get it. At all. You know, it's it's... It's not, it has nothing to do with collection purposes. It has to do with just enjoying the game. That's why DQ11 on Switch has such a fantastic crafting system. Hell, even the, the, the non-Switch version has a better crafting system because there are at the very least shops where you could get those things if you know where to get them. But the Switch version just kind of um, 
expedites the feature by letting you buy it through the, the anvil, you know? That's why DQ11 Switch has such a fantastic crafting system. It doesn't bog you down with irrelevant mundane materials. It doesn't require previous items in order to craft except for super items at the end of the game. Very good. Yeah, FF9 is guilty of it too. <clears throat> Plus the one dungeon, yeah. Two months have passed, the church vanquished the demons, but too much human life has been lost. Once it was found, we had a hand in the affair. My superiors were ex executed and the guild left crippled. Alchemy's principles held, we sacrificed everything and gained just too much misery. Well, just as much misery. Only by some miracle was my life spared. Gjibol di did not die in the ritual, he was here, yeah, flanked by demons. He de de delivers judgments. To the alchemists, my own punishment has come and it will be far worse than the others. Too much to the shard but grinders who died at my hands, forgive me, and to you, my dear friend Alfred, I should have listened. May God have mercy on me. For a while, I thought the writer of this book was Alfred. But it turns out it's a, it, Alfred was the one that was telling him not to. Yeah! You can buy for that dungeon without going out of your way. Sort of, and not really. Like, yes and no. Invert! Invert! Yeah! Oh, that's a boss. Let's yeah! put your luck to the test. Yeah! Oh dear. I haven't saved it in some time. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't this a boss from the, the 2D version? I need to learn how to read that. Oh god! There's planks up there. You know what? Hold on. Much better. I mean... Okay. Is this all you have? Weaponize one percent of your total gold and throw it at this. Oh, we got guilt toss. Neato. Yeah, that was mega cheese, dude. <laughs> that was super cheese. Oh, uh, I really would like a save point, though. I'm gonna go back up here because I, th I feel like I, I missed the save point. So, oh. okay. Probably right here. As always. Yep. Oh man, I'm so good at missing save points, dude. I'm so I'm so good at just like taking the wrong turn. How rich am I now? Uh, nine thousand. So I made a thousand gil. The boss can clean you out. Oh yeah. Well, I kind of sat there and beat his face in with my sword repeatedly until he died, so I mean, 
it wasn't really much of a boss, it was more of like a button mashing contest. 